Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we're discussing a watch that is the heart and soul of Breitling's aquatic collection. This is the Super Ocean. The model is Super Ocean 2 stainless steel, 44 millimeters in diameter by 14.4 millimeters thick and lug to lug 52.8 millimeters with a broad 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now, what's interesting is that Breitling always stamps the age of the watch on the case as well as on the bracelet. And case and bracelet tend to correspond very closely. So you see here 4419. That means the bracelet was made in the 44th week of 2019 to so get a general idea of when the watch was made. Taking a quick look on my wrist, you can see 16 centimeters circumference. And I really do think you need a wrist of my size or larger to wear this well. You can see, especially from over the top, the lugs are right out to the edge of my wrist. It's not cartoonish, it's not untoward or inelegant, but I do think if your wrist is any smaller than this, you want to go with a 42 millimeter Super Ocean, not the 44. That said, it is surprisingly thin. For a dive watch, you can see how low it sits on the cuff. So 44.4 might be the thickness, but it sits down uh, lower than that on the wrist because you can see the case back is sort of cupped and it sinks down when it's strapped down under tension. Here we have a professional three bracelet. You know that because it has the slash cut with asymmetrical links, large in the center, smaller in the the flanking positions, and we have a conforming end link to better mate it to the case. You can see it's satin finished on its tops and its sides. Removable links are fixed by screws. There's a little bit of a taper as we move down the bracelet. Now the clasp is single fold, and you can see internally we have several pairs of divots drilled, so you can use your strap tool to change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp for fine-tuning the fit. And then we've got a little clamshell lock. You put that down in position. Now you're secure. Rolling back over to the case, you can see it's relatively simple but strong. Fully integrated. You can see the lugs blend into the case profile. It's polished in profile, satinated across the lug hoods. We have relatively pointed crown guard structures to protect the crown. It is a screw-down crown. The watch is 1,000 meters water resistant, which is exceptional, and then has a helium escape valve on the flank for saturation divers. Those who may find that helium builds up in their watch during a dive will be happy to know that this valve will release that helium when the internal pressure exceeds external by about two to three bar. The bezel is massively constructed, just like the watch. Oftentimes when watchmakers water test Breitlings, they have to use incompressible case settings on the water tester because these cases are so strong. The bezels likewise. See these little screws? They fix the bezel to the case. So this is called a captive bezel. It's not snapped on, so it can't be snapped off. Unlike Omega Rolex and the Tag Heuers of the world, this has to be disassembled before it can be removed with the result that it is very secure. Now the bezel actually has a very nice to 10. It's a 120 click. Let's hear it. Sounds good, feels good, very crisp. There's a micro knurling on the side that's easy to grip and would be easy to grip even if your hands were wet, sweaty, or gloved. Line up the bezel pearl, and now you have a zero to 60 minute count up timer. And I've long found dive bezels both easier to read and cheaper to service than chronographs. Let's take a quick look at the loom shot so you can see what this watch looks like in the dark. Quite luminescent. We have three hands loomed, and I always like to see a loomed seconds hand on a diver. So if you dive at night or you dive deep, you know that your watch is still running. Taking a quick look at the bezel insert, you can see it's actually a polymer coating that's inserted in. It has a very rubbery feel. Uh, very easy to wear down your fingernail on this, but it has that blackened coating then actually relieved and satinated numerals and indices. So that's what you're actually looking at there. Now taking a look at the dial, there's a flange outboard, a sort of rayhot that unifies the chimney, which is this uh, polished flange inboard of the bezel. That's a standard part of Breitling dive watch construction. So from the chimney to the flange, then to the dial base, it is bright yellow. This is Cobra yellow. That's what they call it at Breitling. And then we have darkened satinated hands, indices, and numerals to match. It's a low glare look, but it's highly legible. And as you can see, this was before Breitling shifted to their new logo, which is just the B without the wings, so a nostalgic touch, a red index at the end of the seconds hand. The watch has two subsidiary setting modes, thanks to the movement, which is a combination of a quick set date and then hacking seconds. So you've got those functions to set the watch precisely against a calendar or a reference time. We'll pop open the clasp 
and then you can see the reverse side. Breitling Wing logo, again, a slightly older generation of Breitling logo. You can also see that it is a case code A, which is steel, 17, which is an ETA 28242, and then 3 means it is a chronometer, and then 67 is model specific, so that's what you're looking at there. So this ETA 28242 is bidirectional automatic winding with a 38-hour power reserve. Stop seconds, a quick set date, 25 joules, it beats away at 8 beats per second, it is adjusted in 5 positions, and it is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer. It is an extremely serviceable, reliable, shock resistant, and accurate movement. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.